What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today, Call of Duty dropped another trailer for the Onslaught DLC pack. Now similar to Black Ops 2, this was something like The Replacers, where you got an actual thematic trailer coming to saying like, you know what, we're gonna let you play this in its glory. But along with the cinematics of the trailer, we got a little bit more of a look at the maps as well as the bonus weapon, the Maverick. Firstly, before we get into anything about the DLC itself, let me just say that the Call of Duty outdid themselves with this one. This one actually was a great trailer, probably one of my favorite that they've ever done for a DLC pack. And it actually showed some ingenuity on the level of production. Coming from someone that briefly studied cinematics and is one of those people that criticize everything, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So without further ado, let's jump right into the actual contents of this trailer that we saw regarding our pack. Now, we knew that these maps would be small to medium range, which is something that the community as a whole, I think, yelled out to Infinity Ward and is like, please bring us more of these smaller maps. Fog is one of those maps, the first map were shown actually, and we see a lot of these close quarters engagements and a lot of long lines of sight that are tight and bunched together. Definitely those situations where you're gonna want to have the jump on your enemy. Also, the Mike Myers field orders, one of the creepiest but coolest additions, I think, Think that this is going to offer to the game definitely looking like it's going to take over the maniacs position as you get to see that the mike myers character shown sprints pretty quickly and only equipped with a knife just like a maniac would be these field orders are going to be for looks as well as kills bayview there's not merely much that i can say other than what i did in my previous breakdown of the initial trailer there's gonna be a lot of choke points and a lot of closed situations so the one main area of focus is probably going to be the trolley car it's a moving aspect to the map and it's going to be a high traffic area area you can again put equipment down there so sentry guns IMS's stuff like that are all gonna be rampant in that area as well as the field orders for this map are a mortar strike I'm hoping that that is more deadly than the one that Warhawk offers but not too deadly as I said with the last video containment is pretty much the same thing it's got a lot of close quarter situations as do these all other maps but the main areas of focus are going to be the central bridge as it is the main point across to the other sides of the map again there is the underside as well but that is mostly for SA MGs and a lot of close quarter situations down there more so than above ground but the main focus is probably going to be on the bridge especially because there is that cargo truck containing a nuclear explosive so you get that field orders you're going to be able to control that and you're going to be able to get some kills off of it as well as alter the way the map will play now our final map ignition the one that is a remake of the fan favorite scrapyard i couldn't really elaborate more on this in my last video on the in-depth of the breakdown but looking over it after i uploaded that video you can see very distinctly where the pieces are the map that are the remakes in the very beginning frame of the ignition trailer you get to see where the launch countdown is that is the narrow corridor leading into the mini warehouse across the map from where the car cargo shipping containers were. Along with that, there are the hollowed out tubes that you can go through. Now, once the field orders are completed, that's where the other ones come into play because the rocket will break into pieces and scatter across the map. So that will complete the other portions of the plane parts from Scrapyard that were just thrown about and that you could play through. Along with the above ground, there is now an additional below ground portion of the map that whenever you're down there, if the launch goes off, well, then you get fried to a crisp and you die. So very risky situations going down there. It's going to be very close quarters so if you go down there be prepared to at your own risk now the next thing we're shown in this trailer is a little bit of the maverick and this is something that is beautiful to look at it looks to me like the iron sights aren't gonna be bad if you know me that's very surprising because i hate 90 percent of the iron sights in call of duty ghosts with this one though it looks to be wide open looks to give you a clean accurate precise shot where you're going as well as the overall design isn't too ugly now whenever you switch this over to a sniper rifle it looks to act like a link or a VKS. Now, whether it plays differently than those, that's something that'll be determined in time whenever the map pack comes out. It is certainly not a bolt action rifle, so I'm just assuming. And finally, we are shown the last piece of the trailer, which is episode one, Nightfall of Extinction. We're told that this is going to be something that is episodic, so it is going to have a story behind it. It is going to have something deeper of a meaning than just trying to survive and shoot some aliens in the face. I'm looking forward to it regardless, both the survival and the story mode aspect. So, my my question to you guys right now, what do you think the backstory is going to be of Extinction? That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Vinny Kuala Espresso. Be sure to stay tuned next week, one week, this coming Tuesday, for the release of DLC 1 Onslaught. I'm going to be covering a lot of stuff. Let me know what you guys think 
down in the comment section down below what you guys want to see, whether it's map breakdowns, the Maverick breakdown, live episodes of the new maps, really anything that you guys want, let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section down below with this new DLC pack. I'm stoked, you should be stoked, Onslaught's coming. If you did like the video, please leave a like rating down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and our MySpace if you're OG like that are always greatly appreciated. Be sure to stay tuned for the best of Call of Duty Ghost content. I have a ton of stuff still coming to you guys, so stay tuned for that. My name's Vinicola Espresso. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys later. Take care and peace.